what is inside the Murumbi Gallery, popularly known as the Kenya National Archives. Apparently, many people, many Kenyans use it as a navigation map, a central meter point, and they do not know what is inside. I personally, for many years, just like any other Kenyan, have been using the National Archives as a stopover, as a navigation map, and as you can see, it's a common thing to stand outside. The gallery named after the second Kenyan vice president, Joseph Murumbi, has been in place for more than 50 years and you can access it at only 100 Kenyan shillings and you can only pay through the e-citizen. So again, the question remains, what is inside the Kenya National Archives? Come with me, let's find out. The place has two sections, the ground floor and the first floor. The first floor is very restricted, you cannot take any images. But the good thing is, I can give you an overview of what is there. Sounds good, right? At the very entrance, you'll find pictures of the former governors of Kenya which I would definitely not be interested in capturing, but it would be probably be of use to the next generation. Then we have maps, African currency notes, political figures like the former presidents during um, their, their diplomatic visits, their royal visits, the Murumbi artifacts that came with the Arabs, tapes of boats, canoes, and all that, and importantly, the Mau Mau fighters. Also, we have the first presidential seat in display. So basically, that's the overview of what you'll find upstairs. Now let's see what's on the ground floor. Sculptures, African jewelry, and artworks. An official repository for government records, documents and some sort of preservation of cultural heritage. So here downstairs, we have images of remarkable leaders like President Mwai Kibaki and some of his uh, diplomatic visits are displayed on images. And the National Archive serves as a custodian for this documentation. The pieces of history makes you drive back in time with pictures of Dedan Kimadi among other Mau Mau fighters. Evelyn Baring and Jomo Kenyatta's arrest and detention. Seven good years in prison. Can you imagine? We'll also find other remarkable figures like John Kennedy, Tom Boyer among others. Did you know that Tom Boyer was the first to go to the US? Okay, I'm also not sure, but you can confirm. I think he was also the first student. If I read it right. Anyway, apparently I have a personal opinion. So my opinion is we have some unnecessary documentation that has nothing to do with us. You know, like the the um, the Yoruba god Shango, who they call the god of thunder, and Mummy Water. Mummy Water. I mean, a water spirit. I was just shaking my head. Like I don't get it. We should at least be learning about Mombi, Nasaye, Asis, Njorin Cheke, or Isikuti dancers. I'm not paying to see a caving of a spirit encircled with a snake. Like, give me my money. Anyway, to learn more, you can pay a guide, which I did not. Hope you visit the Joseph Murumbi Gallery soon. Bye-bye.